Hello there YouTube, getting here also known as South 85 Um doing another serious mode video. Uh, I had some stuff, something on my mind, and I wanted to share it with y'all. Uh but I have a question for you. Who are the most important people in your life? Friends, family, your subscribers, other YouTubers? Here's the deal. At one point in my life when I first started out doing YouTube, I've been doing it for a few years now, and all I ever do was wanted to record. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to record. I wanted to put my face up on YouTube. I wanted to see who subscribed, who liked, who commented. And while that's great, and I'll be honest, I might lose a few um, subscribers over saying this, but the most important people around you are the people that are in your life for real. Not words on the screen. Um, they're, they're the people around you in your immediate area. The people that care about you, the people that see you every single day, spouses, loved ones, friends. But again, you know, sometimes in life we, we lose sight of that when we're gaming, for instance, or when we're recording YouTube videos, when we're a YouTuber, we want to interact with our public, which is great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, our subscribers are great people. We want to interact with them. But with being a YouTuber and being a gamer uh, in general, you want to remember Again, the, the people that got you where you are, that made you who you are, that helped mold your life to who you are now, rather for good or worse. I mean, if the people around you are total dicks, the horrible people, forget about them. Move on. But if you have good people uh, that are maybe are just annoying every so often or they get into your skin, um, but you know at some point in your life they love you, you know, they care about you, don't forget about them. Don't put them on the back burner. Um, if you're a gamer, put your games on the back burner. Spend some time with your family. Spend some time with your wife, husband, sister, um, mother, father, whoever it would be. Um, put your YouTube channel on the back burner. Put your subscribers to the side. Take a few days. Uh, because if you keep going, if you keep concentrating on the immaterial things in life, you can lose out and the people around you worry um, and in a way they suffer because they don't get to see you they don't get to experience the joy that you bring to their life except on a very limited basis um, you know and but and that's that's a part of our humanity that's what part of what makes us human uh, is that interaction with other humans unfortunately coming into the age that we're coming into with digital data phones internet Facebook Twitter uh, we are coming into, the way I see it, a decline of being able to talk to people. There are couples, there are marriages now where arguments are being done through text. Uh, they're being done through texting on the phone. I've seen it. It's, it's honestly, it worries me a little bit because you lose out on the emotion. You become a drone uh, in my eyes. You, you lose how to communicate with people on a verbal basis. I mean, at some point in human evolution, we're probably going to lose the, the capability of speaking vocally because we're going to be so digitized over stuff that it's, you know, it's going to be a little scary. It's scary now. It may not be scary then, when and if it does happen. But uh, the way things are going now, it, I wouldn't doubt it. It wouldn't surprise me to be totally honest and blunt forced. So overall, what I'm really trying to get at here is that as much fun as gaming is, as much fun as it is to escape to visit other worlds and help digital characters save the day or save their towns, homes, uh, to pay monthly for a game that's going to suck up seven to eight years of your life like World of Warcraft has done for me. You know, that was another thing I went through. I, I spent countless hours with, with two games um, in particular, Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft. Because let's face it, when you're an RPG nerd, you're going to spend more time in a game than most uh, shooter nerds, than most fighter nerds, you know, probably probably not nearly as much as bookworms, but uh, RPG nerds, we spend a lot of time in a game because there's lots of hours of gameplay that can be done. Um, so, you know, with that said, that, that's another facet of it, is, again, just watching with time and take time for your real life situation. Uh, the computer, while it is a powerful thing, it's still a tool. It's a tool to connect with people in some form, but you can't let it overtake you. You can't let it overtake your life. 
you got to remember the people that breathe the same air as you, that breathe the same local air in the same house, the same room. Um, you can't neglect them because they're people. And deep down, us humans, we have to have community. If we don't have community, then you know we kind of get into the stupor of we. You know, I think we lose confidence. We lose the again the ability to really um, connect with people. And if we stop connecting, we're in trouble. But anyway, I just want to share it with y'all. I hope you know. I hope you're not facing that at at this point in your life. But if you are, um, even speaking right now, all I am is just a face on a screen. I'm not flesh and blood. I am here, but I'm not here on this screen. Um, so, you know, take some time. Go out to a movie. Get around some people. Make some new friends. Hang out with your friends if you have some. Uh, I mean, you know, let's face it. We're gamers. I mean, most of our friends are going to be online. But for those that we do have in real life, don't neglect them. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they want to be with you. Uh, even if it's only for a few minutes a day. They want to be with you. They want to see you. They want to talk with you. They want to see how you're doing. And don't neglect your family, first and foremost, because family is the most powerful thing in the world. They're the people, for the most part, for most people, that you can trust. Uh, even more so than a lot of friends. So, you know, and definitely if you're married, don't neglect your spouse or your kids. Because kids are our future, and odds are your spouse gave you those kids in some way or form. I mean, obviously it takes two to mate. Just saying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I hope this helps. See ya.